<laughs> oh no. Hi guys! Kumusta kayo? Sana'y nasa mabuti kayong kalagayan habang pinapanood ang ating video for today. And sa ngayon, pupuntahan natin ang tinatawag nilang Monster Building dito sa Hong Kong. Alamin natin kung bakit nga ba ito tinawag na Monster Building at kung ano nga ba ang makikita natin sa gusaling ito. So, let's go and explore the place. Known as a concrete jungle, Hong Kong is famed for its tower-studded cityscape which becomes a popular filming location for a Hollywood blockbusters. In recent years, a place in Quarry Bay has become the love location for filming. People call it the Monster Building, which is in fact an architecture complex composed of five old mansions which resembles a walled city. The Monster Building consists of five connecting buildings, namely Oceanic Mansion, Fuk Chong Building, Montaigne Mansion, Yik Chong Building and Yik Fat Building, which form an E-shaped architecture complex. This giant architecture resembles a monster and is thus called the Monster Building by the locals. Although walking inside a building would be a fascinating adventure, we have to remind ourselves that people actually live there. It's simply fascinating to imagine how people live in such a small spaces but I think it's just a matter of perspective. Thinking about it will make you realize that one doesn't need much to be happy. However, we should always be respectful of the residents inside. We are going into the courtyard of a building many people call home. We shouldn't shout or hang around longer than we need to. Buying something from the stores at ground level, I believe will also be appreciated. The Hong Kong Monster Building has become an internet sensation when Montaigne Mansion has taken Instagram by storm after it was featured in the Transformers Age of Extinction movie. Inside, you will feel the local neighborhood vibe, tiny corridors, slow elevators, and countless number of flats. Due to small room areas, residents also use roofs for drying clothes or growing plants. Despite the housing density, many locals say that they really like living in this neighborhood even those who have lived in Hong Kong for a decade. They mention that the complex has a good location and special vibe. In the 1950s and 60s, Hong Kong experienced a sudden population boom as the Cultural Revolution in mainland China sparked a wave of mass immigration of refugees to the city to escape the political stripe of North. 
With thousands of refugees landing in Hong Kong, the housing market was choked and a shortage of low-income housing began. The crisis in the early 1960s forced the hand of the Hong Kong government to kickstart a public housing program to provide accommodation for the city's poor Chinese refugees. And that's when the Hong Kong Monster Building was built. And for those who want to know how to get to the monster building if you are riding the MTR, you need to take the island line to Taiko Station, exit B. Turn west on King's Road and keep walking for 3 minutes. Once you've reached the intersection between King's Road and Yaoman Street, walk a few meters up and the monster building will be on your left. Another way to get there by MTR is to reach Kwarbe Station, exit A. This time, turn east towards Taiko Place and head down King's Road for approximately 5 minutes. Once you've hit the Mount Parker Road Green Trail sign, you've reached the Monster Building. The building will be on your right. That's all for today's video and I hope you guys like it. And I just want to shout out Edward Online TV. I hope you are doing well and thank you for always being so supportive. Bye guys!